we do we have do we have an education problem in the U.S.? You know, do are our kids being poorly educated in the U.S.? Uh, give me a yes or no. The answer is yes, right? In Chicago, there are 55 public schools that don't have a single child that can read, write, or do math at grade level. We know this. We've talked about this. Uh, I went to uh, I was in Germany once, and I went to eat at Subway, and um, and I and the guy in front of me, uh, he was Italian, and so the <clears throat> the Subway guy, <clears throat> the guy making the sandwiches. Um, who's probably making minimum wage or something? He uh, he said he starts speaking to the guy in German, and the guy says, "No, I speak I speak Italian, whatever." Right? He, he starts speaking Italian. So the subway guy in, instantly starts speaking Italian to take his order. So he takes his order in Italian, and then he gets to me. He starts taking my order in German, and I'm like, I knew just enough German to say I don't speak German. Right? I I uh, <clears throat> that's it. I was in Germ- I was in Mannheim, Germany for 6 weeks. I was with the um Center for European Economic Research for that 6 week period. I was doing a research stint back when I was on the faculty of Syracuse. And I was like I don't know German. And he start and then instantly the guy starts switch- switching to English. He so he takes my order in English. And I thought about that. I said this is crazy that the guy who works at Subway, the guy behind the counter making minimum wage, just right in front of me spoke three languages. He speaks at least Three different languages. Do you see that? Typ- is that typical? Do you typically see a McDonald's employee or a Subway employee or a Burger King employee that can speak three languages? Has anybody anybody ever seen that before? Does that exist? Um, no, no, because we have kids that get jobs at fast food restaurants who literally are totally illiterate, who literally have to have pictures of the food on the cash register because they can't read the word hamburger. And so. Um, so ultimately, what my point is, is is saying all this is to say that um, when you're talking about building black society, I don't think you should try to build black society as some sort of model or replica of white society. Like, I don't think that we should look at white people as some sort of benchmark for what blackness is supposed to look like. I don't think that terms like equality are beneficial to us, because uh, if equality means being the same. I don't want to be the same as 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 what we see in America. I, I want I want something better. I believe that we can have prosperity and wealth and everything else, and still make sure that everybody's good. Make sure everybody gets an opportunity. Make sure everybody's taken care of. Okay, so that's the uh, that's where uh, I get off the bus when it comes to black capitalism, and I want to make sure we talk about that so we can understand what we're trying to do economically with our families, and also as you succeed and you start to prosper, how you can form an economic model where you're able to prosper but you're also able to create prosperity for others.